hi everybody welcome to my youtube channel dr sinvas medical concepts and my fb page dr sinvas concepts this is dr sinvas neurologist from rajmandri andhra pradesh india i am also the medical author of the book focused neurology and exam oriented clinical neurology my email is 3klpm@gmail.com today we are going to talk about a very fascinating topic the approach to movement disorders the approach to movement disorders movement disorders part 1 so when a person presents with a movement disorder how do we approach to understand this we need to understand a basic principle though cortico spinal tract plays a major role in the control of the movements it is the basal ganglia and cerebellum which are responsible for the precision of movements and therefore movement disorders are because of basal ganglia and its connections so when we approach a movement disorder approach to movement disorders movement disorders could be either a hypokinetic movement disorder that is a decrease in the kinesia example parkinson's disease or a hyperkinetic movement disorder excessive activity example hemibalismus so first we need to understand the two important pathways the direct and indirect pathways which are responsible for the diseases like parkinson's disease or hemibalismus so first let's talk about the direct pathway the direct pathways are responsible for increased movements the direct loop results in excitation of thalamus and cortex therefore lesions of the direct pathway example substantia nigra produces a decrease in movement resulting in a hypokinetic movement disorder example parkinson's disease at the other end of the spectrum we have the hyperkinetic movement disorder example hemibalismus it is because of the lesion in the indirect pathways the indirect pathways are responsible for decreased movements the indirect loop results in inhibition of thalamus and cortex therefore lesions of indirect pathway example subthalamic nucleus produces disinhibition causing an increase or excess in movement resulting in hyperkinetic movement disorder example hemibalismus for the movement disorders the dopam the dopamine the neurotransmitter plays a very important key role the dopamine basically causes movement kinesia and it also is a happy hormone resulting in happiness therefore diseases with dopamine deficiency like parkinson's disease causes a decreased movement that is hypokinesia and a decrease in the level of happiness that is depression and at the other end of the spectrum dopamine excess like schizophrenia causes excessive movement to the extent of becoming violent and excessive happiness resulting in mania parkinson's disease is less commonly found in smokers as compared to non smokers because smoking results in dopamine release so approach to movement disorders the pathophysiology as we have already discussed a hypokinetic movement disorder example parkinson's disease it is due to dopamine deficiency it is because of increased output from the internal segment of globus pallidus and substantia nigra pars reticula reticulata resulting in excessive inhibition of the thalamus and suppression of the cortical motor system and hyperkinetic movement disorder example hemibalismus the lesion being the subthalamus the decrease in the facilitatory influence of subthalamic nucleus on the internal segment of the globus pallidus decrease in inhibition of the motor thalamus releasing the break increasing the thalamocortical activity resulting in hyperkinesia so this is the way we approach a movement disorder either a hypokinetic movement disorder example parkinson's disease or a hyperkinetic movement disorder example hemibalismus so the other important concepts of clinical neurology like history taking general examination pertaining to neurology neurologic examination hemiplegia and paraplegia all these important five chapters i put it in a points form in a book exam oriented clinical neurology written by me dr s srinivas so if interested this book could be purchased the other important concepts of neurology i put it in a question and answer format 
uh, which would be very useful for students in appearing for oral exams. This book, Focused Neurology, written by me, Dr. S. Srinivas, is available online from all leading booksellers, including Amazon. So, if interested, this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of approach to movement disorders. If you have enjoyed it, please like and share the link. But please subscribe my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts, and my page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.